MK3 Road Racer. On the Trek Lexa 2016. These pieces are the same, two pieces, and I'll start with the front. I'll attach this nose piece to the blade. It just was glued on, so it's quite easy. Then you just check if it fits. Then you clean the inside of the fork here. Then you mount these strips on the fork. They're actually quite longer, a bit longer than the these pieces, so it's quite easy to, to mount them. It will fit just above this Bluetooth thing or whatever it is, I don't really know. Looks something like this. Both sides. So this part is a bit tricky to get it fit, but I found that you need to push it a bit down and then mount one side and then you can like adjust this side to fit so so this lines up on the the wheel so i would like do some tricky stuff here just to make it fit like so it will be in line like this so this is the final product as you can see the the rear is going just fine just attach the clean these as also as in the front and just mounted these and attached the the tail tip here not the tail tip but the protection from the inside here and you just use a screw here and I actually use some currently I only have silver duct tape but I don't need to have some black tape here and <clears throat> as you can see there's not much room here um, but I prefer the extra protection given here normally you just cut this off with a with a knife or a scissors and I just put some duct tape here and I also needed to use these um, holes in here and use this strip reusable strip and also some duct tape for extra protection should be black tape so it looks nicer and then this just runs fine so no problem here on the back side very small bike 44 centimeter woman special design and I have a problem with the front side there should be a, a strip here to to mount it on the on the brake screw here so I can so if I can move it like this I would not have any problem so like that and, and when I move this it runs really smoothly so I need something here and there are no holes here so I'm not able to mount anything without doing some uh, some stuff but it's you can just probably drill two holes get a strip and then it will work fine so that's something I'll need to do this these mud guards will give four stars because this is not good you need something to keep it uh, keep it away from the wheel <clears throat> Or at least given given an option, it's not hard to have two holes and an extra strip included in the in the already expensive bundle, or not so expensive actually. And I love the idea that you can just rip these off when you don't need them, especially here in the front. So I just rip them off until I get the modification done. But yeah, it's uh, it was these were actually a lot easier to install than the old mudguards, so MK2s, that I have on my bike and they're not a, I'm not able to rip them off when I don't need them and that's a bit a bit annoying also but and I think it's better with the the velcro here because the small screws will they will loosen themselves and I, I lost many of them so that's that's a huge improvement good work so these are also included to protect the the rim and the bike so you can use these if necessary actually looks pretty cool